Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Always a pleasure to be here. You don't know how long it is that uh, I've been waiting to review these. When you think of Arby's, I, I mean, I always think of mac and cheese. The meats, that's just a distraction, right? That's like the surface level stuff. But then once you breach that, and then you become hardcore Arby's uh, fanatic like me, because I, I embody everything that Arby's is about, right? Then you see what the real deal is, and then you realize mac and cheese. Yeah, that, that's Arby's right there. And this was a surprise. I'll tell you why. I might have been anticipating this, but the fact that they actually did this as a fried version and not the grilled one is really something else. That's, that's, that's the biggest shock. Yeah, I was kind of making that one up as I went, but why not? What, <laughs> what the heck, why not? Arby's has released a new, they call this like a side sort of thing. I mean, I guess if you get enough of them, it could easily constitute a meal but they are marketing this as a new side for limited time only. They have released their fried mac and cheese bites. So again, this is not the grilled version of it, uh, but these are actually fried. It's uh, macaroni and cheese, uh, noodles, and I believe a four cheese blend, fried, and then as these little bites that you could eat. I mean, you could do other things with them too, but you're supposed to eat them. And that's all that there really is to it. Around $4.50 to $5 for a four piece of these fried mac and cheese bites. A little pricey, but so is everything else. So this is gonna be a very basic review. Again, this is mac and cheese bites. I'm just gonna try them out, see how good they are. And that's all that there is to it. They threw in a variety of sauces, so if I feel like I want to kill some time, then I guess I could dip these in some of the sauce, because I really don't know how much there's going to be to say about these otherwise. I suppose time will tell. But anyway, there they are, lounging four of them. They're fried, as if I didn't mention that probably five other times. You could see, I mean, they're, they're, in some cases, I think some folks would say bite-sized. For me, maybe I'd say a half dozen bite-sized. Greasy and fried. Oily has a I'm sure a crunch to it, have to assume. So there you have it. You can see what it looks like. And there's not much to say about them. It's just supposed to be macaroni and cheese fried as uh, again, a little bit of a bite as like a side or what have you. I'm gonna try it out to see how it is, how it tastes, what it tastes like. And then maybe for the heck of it, I might try it with a few of these sauces. Let's just get into it. The fried mac and cheese bites from Arby's, they're going in. Mmm. Mmm. You ever have one of those, one of those uh, foods where you just, you know as you're eating this, your stomach is not going to be in for a good time. Uh, this is, this is one of those sorts of items, at least in my case. I could just already tell 
<laughs> I can already tell that it's going to be one of these, uh, one of these sorts of, of times. I say that based on just a pure, you know, greasiness and oiliness of this. I'm emphasizing the cross section here because I think that's very valuable information. So you can get a real good look at it. I'm going to be honest, I don't really care for this all that much. Not that I have anything against macaroni and cheese, I don't. I don't, you know, that's not to say that I'm always living the mac and cheese life, as they say. I am not. If, if there are people, there are better people, you know, to, to go off of as an example of how to live that sort of lifestyle, I don't. But I mean, I have nothing against macaroni and cheese, you know, it could be... I'm, there's no problem with it. But this, on the other hand, is, uh, there's something off about it. I'll, I'll explain. I'll try it with the sauces for the heck of it in a moment. But real quick, problem here, as I'm taking this bite, you have this odd juxtaposition, and it's not necessarily a pleasant one either. It is overwhelmingly greasy, and I think you obviously could tell, uh, as I was holding up the cross section, even before I took a bite out of it. I'm sure you could just see that this is one of those items where the exterior is simply saturated uh, with that grease. And, uh, I mean, I could certainly taste it, you know, that those sorts of extra fried, uh, extra greasy, super oily items, you know what I'm talking about and uh, you just bite into it, and you could just really taste the grease just permeating everywhere. You know, this is about as greasy and uh, oily as it gets. And number one, first thing I notice is, again, this insanely greasy. Uh, it's odd. It's sort of crunchy, but at the same time, it's so laden with uh, this moisture. It's, it's an interesting combination, but anyway. So you have this extreme grease on the, the surface, which is not flavorful otherwise. And then you breach the interior, and it doesn't really... There are ways that you could do mac and cheese, and I've seen it before. There have been other instances where uh, all sorts of places have done the mac and cheese, and they've done it successfully, at least to varying extents. But I've noticed this problem before, and I, I notice it right here. There is not much of a cheesy note to this at all. Uh, instead, I take the bite, and it's like this soggy mush, for lack of a better word, on the inside, that, again, there really is not much of a cheesy note to this at all. And if I didn't read as I was researching this that this was going to be a four-cheese blend, you, there's no way I could even tell. Uh, really, it's like this, this soggy mush on the inside uh, that has this slight sort of almost sour taste to it, which is not pleasant. So, okay, I take the bite of it, and it's really oily, it's really greasy, soggy, mushy, interior, not all that cheesy whatsoever, and a nice little sourness to it. Mm. Yeah, that's why when I was doing that, that was... Uh, sort of sarcastic on my end, because it's, uh, it's not all that enjoyable, but, you know, luck of the draw is what it is. I'll take one more bite for the heck of it. Honestly, you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna waste the energy to get riled up over this at this point. It, it just is what it is. It's Arby's. It's the, it's the mac and cheese bites. So, oh well, $4 to $5 for that. Have four sauces right here, and I'll try them out for the heck of it. Yeah, that second bite, very, very, there's just not much flavor to it at all. Can't really taste the cheesiness. 
you can't even really appreciate any of the noodles inside either. It all just turns into this, again, this sort of just mushy, flavorless, except with this little sour note. Oh, well. All right, so uh, I've got tangy barbecue sauce. I've got spicy buffalo sauce. I've got ranch sauce. And I've got their bronco berry sauce. I'm just going to give these a rating just to get it over with in case I run out of time. Uh, considering the price and the quality of the item, the fact that, again, just not all that enjoyable. I'm just going to be giving the mac and cheese bites from Arby's. I'm just going to give these. They're disappointing. There have been many instances. I've even seen Burger King do a better job than this. I'm going to have to give these a 4 out of 10. And now for the fun of it, let's see if these sauces, though, can can save the day, if there's anything worth pairing this with. Let's try it with the barbecue sauce first. Honestly, the barbecue sauce does cover up the sourness, at least, a little bit. So that's good. It's really, it gives the barbecue sauce a little bit of texture, essentially. So that's a good, that's a good thing. Barbecue sauce actually isn't that bad. Now let's get bold. Let's try out the buffalo sauce. Let's get a little bit of spice going here. Because we know that buffalo sauce and macaroni and cheese is a famous combination. Now that one doesn't work all too well. But ranch, that I think is even more of a classic pairing. Who doesn't like some ranch dressing with their mac and cheese? No, that one isn't the best pairing either. That one you can actually taste a little bit of that sourness still kind of getting through. What is this? The Bronco Berry Sauce. Who knows? I don't think this one's going to really work, but there could always be surprises, right? Let's try it out. It's actually, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> to be honest, it's actually not anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think though it's because that, that berry sauce is very, it's thick and it's very sweet as well. And uh, for the most part, I could generally just taste the sort of sweetness that the sauce possesses as opposed to all of the negative characteristics uh, that are in these mac and cheese bites. The fact of the matter is that most of these uh, sauces, it's essentially, you're just tasting the sauce with the added texture of the mac and cheese bites, since that's not all that flavorful. Surprisingly, it's actually not, not that bad. A little, a little bit of a shocker there. Yeah, the barbecue sauce, I mean, it's okay. And uh, some of these sauces are what they are, but again, when the product is the way that it is, there's only so much you could really do with it in the first place. So I'm a bit disappointed when it comes down to this latest release from Arby's, but uh, what can you do? It's the luck of the draw. And uh, you yeah, know, these mac and cheese items, they're always hit or miss. But on to the next. 
Arby's, you know, they have some good releases. They have plenty of bad releases, too. And there have been other instances where I've tried out all sorts of mac and cheese items before. There was a time when Burger King had lots of them, and those were... Uh, those were hit or miss. There were some of those that were excellent, and then there were others that weren't, and, you know, it just goes on and on. So, if they try again, maybe they'll be better, maybe they won't, but in this case, they're just a bit disappointed. The quality just isn't there this time around. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.